Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to fighters for me. The fighter starting to my left in the blue corner. He comes from Leicester. He's 24 years old. Starts 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighing in at 84 kilos. He fights out of impact martial arts and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one loss. The Lens Series for James Smiler. He's 25 years old, stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, and weighs at 84 kilos. He fights at the Bushido Academy, and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for Andy! So a final instruction from the referee, we have uh, James Prince in the white and black shorts and we have Andrew Durkin in the red and black. Durkin a bit of a height and reach advantage here Andy. He is um, 6 foot 4 at 84 kilos so he's uh, got a decent height to him, good leg kick there by Prince. Yeah straight away closed that distance and uh, Forced Durkin to drop for a uh, drop for a leg. Let's see if he can finish his takedown. He's working away against the cage, but it looks like um, Prince is defending well. He's got the neck quite tight here. Oh, he's looking for the slam. He can get that leg, his hand between the legs there, and gets his hips under. Oh, Prince knew what he was doing, defending up well, but he's still taken to his back. Prince might waste a bit of energy there, use, uh, going for the guillotine. Holding quite tight on the ground there as well. Nice positioning there, advancing to mount. It was a nice transition. I think uh, Prince spent too much time holding the head and focusing on the head and didn't notice the uh, leg slipping past. This is a semi-pro contest over two rounds, so we've got um, only body shots on the ground here, so the mount position can you just quickly explain those rules, Andy, for those who don't know? Yeah, so the uh, the fights tonight were... Oh, oh we, we might have a submission here, he's taking his back. He's got if one he hook in here on the back, he looks, he's fighting to get that second hook in. <laughs> Prince trying desperately, he's got the second hook in. Just needs to flatten him out now and look for this choke. Now, he can't strike to the head here. Um, there's no head strikes to the floor of a grounded opponent in the semi-pro com contests. Also, no elbows to the head. So, from this position, he can just go for submissions, really, or punch to the body. Now, um, is he looking for the? I thought he was looking for the body lock there. He's got his one leg right across. Yeah, we've we've legs that long. It's quite easy to get a body lock, and very difficult to get out of once you're in it. By body lock, I mean the uh, the body triangle, triangling the legs around the body of the opponent. He's still fighting away. Has the opponent pretty well flattened out. He's managed oh, he's, he's, back up. He's, he's, I think he's going to give the neck by doing this here. He's going to try and stand back up. Fair play to him, he's going to try and stand back up. He's up, he could put him out on his feet. He's holding on quite, oh. Oh, look at him throwing him off. Well, he showed some grit and toughness there, and he's <laughs> out of it. That was that good strength there. Excellent. excellent. Very impressive. Yeah. He's showed his toughness there, Prince. Now, Durkin's going to try and uh, hand to foot off the cage. Oh, he looks to be looking for an armbar. And Prince creating, getting away. Oh, let's see what happens on the, on the feet now. I'd expect Prince to start letting go some heavy shots like he did in the beginning. Durkin straight for a single leg. He caught a decent knee on the way in there, but still managed to get the tear down. He's got his hips quite high to be going for a, a slam. Still manages to secure the take down. Yeah, with the hips high there, you're using a lot of strength in your lower back. It can be tiring later on in the fight, but um, 
he got the takedown, so can't argue it really. Now, see, now holding the hips high and side control is giving space to Prince to try and escape. He should, um, his hips are very high there, Completely. unless he's trying to open something up. It's nice to see him uh, sprawl his hips right down, wasn't it? There, that's mm. a bit better. I think he heard you, Andy. <laughs> well, it was good advice. <laughs> Again, the nice hip, the hips are going up now. Look, that's what happens when, like we're saying, when the hips go up, you are susceptible to being reversed. And that is that is going to happen. Prince is a nice, couple of knees decent to knees to the body. To the body, bit of ground and pound. Will he try and uh, pass, uh, pass advanced position um, from half guard, do you think? He, he looks quite comfortable there. Yeah, and, uh, uh, you don't know whether um, fighters in the semi-pro contest um, favour the mount position or not. It's, uh, it's interesting, he's, he's going for a figure four kind of on the uh, near side arm. It's not really a, a finishable submission, I don't think, from that side. This would be quality. And he's going to sneak was, uh, out the back. Oh, a nice oh. reversal there. I would like Durkin to keep those hips down. If he's uh, if he's going to keep this control, he needs to keep those hips down. Maybe Fairly evenly matched on the ground, these two. Yeah, it's been uh, been to and fro. Coming to the end of the round. He's lifting his hips again. Time. How would you think uh, you'd score that round, Dave? I'd definitely score the round for the takedowns, to be honest. I think um, on the ground they were jockeying for position. On the feet there wasn't much landed to uh, to cause any damage, so I'd definitely go for the, uh, the, the, um, the red corner for the two takedowns. Yeah, I think I'd agree with you there. Um, Prince showed um, some, some good strength managing to... Uh, uh, hold on in the uh, the rear naked choke attempt. He and, really uh, did tough that out. I thought that was on at one point. Very impressive. Yeah, he <laughs> shows this is this is uh, a tough man to be fighting. And I think uh, tough lad. It's nice. It's nice to see this uh, um, this early level of the career as well. If you've got the tough, that's one thing you you can't really train a fighter to have, and uh, he's obviously got it. Yeah, he really cares about getting the win. You can tell. Let's see what we've got in store with round two. This is going to be the uh, the second and final round of this contest. Ready? So in our opinion, we've got one round for uh, for Durkin so far. Prince needs to pull this back. I'm sure that he'll have the, the grit and the determination to try and do this now. I'd like to see him be a little bit more heavy with the hands because when he, when he threw those hands, he had... Uh Oh, he's given the good kicks. Angry. Good kicks went in there. I think yeah. he caught one in the head. A good takedown. Nice slam nice with his hips a little hips. lower. And I think he's been told that uh, Durkin has got judo Jimmy Wallhead in his corner, who's uh, giving some excellent advice. Durkin now passed into Mount Judo Jimmy Wallhead recently, uh, getting a win in the uh, huge Bellator. Um, organization in America oh now Prince got the reversal with strength and he's landing himself in a triangle Lee Livingston as well next to Jimmy giving advice and I don't think he's going to be able to tough this one out Andy I think this is locked on I think he could be right he's, uh, I think this is a guy that's going to hold on but let's see how long he can hold on for this is a tight triangle and Excellent win. Good performance there. Very well done there by Andrew Durkin to catch him in that triangle. Good win there for Andrew Durkin.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, up for one minute and 12 seconds of round two. Your winner, due to a tap out by Triangle Choke from the red corner,